G'day folks, Troy Dean here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install WordPress so you can start making websites. Let's get to work. Okay, quick Google search on how to install WordPress, and you're probably gonna end up on this page here at wordpress.org which shows you how to install WordPress. However, it's quite technical. They're going to suggest that you download WordPress in a zip file and upload it to your own host. And frankly, that's just going to be a huge stumbling block. I want to get you started as quickly as possible. So if you click through to many of their web hosts that they recommend, there are some web hosts here that will allow you to install WordPress pretty quickly. But again, I reckon this is still a little bit developer centric and a little bit technical. So I've done a whole bunch of research and I'm just going to recommend the quickest and easiest way for you to install WordPress. You are going to need a hosting company. Uh, the reality is when you install WordPress uh, to have the rest of the world access that website, you need somewhere to store the files and host the files. So you are going to need a hosting company and preferably we're going to want to use a hosting company that installs WordPress for us automatically. So I've done a lot of research on this and I'm going to recommend to get started if you don't have a host that you just hop on over to DreamHost and click on their WordPress tab in the navigation. Uh, there is a link below this video uh, that will take you here. And yes, it is an affiliate link. So if you sign up for DreamHost, I'm going to get paid a little bit of money, which means I get to drink nice coffee. Uh, trust me, the affiliate commission will not pay the rent, but it just allows me to drink nice coffee while I make these videos for you. So what you want to do now is come over here. And if you're just starting out, I'm just going to suggest that you go for the WordPress basic plan because this is all you're going to need to begin with. Okay. It's super cheap. Don't be fooled. That $2.59 a month, and the price is probably different when you're looking at it, but that $2.59 a month is if you sign up with a three-year plan. Uh, you don't need to do that. What I want you to do is come over here to WordPress Basic, have a look at the details of this uh, particular plan, and just choose monthly here, and it's going to be about $4.95 a month. So $5 a month, and you're going to have a really good, reliable host, and they're going to install WordPress for you for free, pre-installed WordPress, which is awesome, unlimited traffic. The good thing about DreamHost is that you don't even need a domain name to get started. And we'll talk about domain names in another video. Uh, and they'll also give you a free SSL certificate. And again, I'll make another video explaining SSL certificates, but basically every website these days needs to have an SSL certificate so that it's secure, so that your people visiting the website trust it and are willing to interact with it. What I like about this is that it's going to install WordPress for us. We get unlimited traffic. We don't even need a domain name to get started. So we can actually start making websites just in our own kind of practice environment without actually having a domain name. And we're going to get a free SSL certificate, which is awesome. So I'm going to sign up now. And what I need to do here is just because I don't have a domain that I want to start with, I'm not sure what my domain name is going to be yet. I'm just going to choose, I'm going to click this option here to choose a domain later. Then I'm going to put in my payment details. First thing I'm going to do is put in my email address. And then I'm going to enter my first name, phone number, which of course I'm going to blur out because... I don't want you to see it. And sure, I'm happy to sign up for their emails. Why not? Now, what I want you to do here is untick this. I don't want to use their free website builder because I have my own preference for building websites in WordPress. I, I have my own um, plugins that I use, and I'll talk to you about those in another video. Uh, my preference to get started is to use the free Elementor plugin. And again, I'll make another video about that. So I'm going to untick this. I'm going to untick Dream Shield protection. Um, I don't need it. And I'm going to untick uh, email because I don't need an email address right now. So all I want to do is pre-install WordPress, which is free. It's going to cost me $4.95 uh, a month. And that is a, a promotion here for three months. And at the end of that three months, the price is going to go up to $6.99 a month, which I'm still happy with. Okay. Then I'm going to submit my order. Uh, I'm going to also choose a payment option here. And I'm going to have to put in my credit card details, which is totally cool. And again, I'm not going to show you what they are, of course. <laughs> cool. So I have my credit card successfully added. I've got my personal details in there. I'm just installing WordPress for free. It's going to cost me $4.95. And now I'm going to submit my order, open an account with DreamHost, and have them automatically install WordPress for me. All right, now DreamHost just want me to create a password for my account. 
which I'm going to do. I'm going to tick remember me on this device so I don't have to worry about logging in again in the future. And then I'm going to continue to my control panel. Okay, on my control panel, you can see here that DreamHost are installing WordPress for me. It's preparing the installation. So that's all I'm interested in at the moment. This is the domain name here that I'm going to use to start practicing and start learning how to use WordPress. And uh, once their, their installation wizard and script has run here, then WordPress is going to be installed for me and I'll be able to access it. Now, while this is installing, you might be wondering, wouldn't it just be easier to go to wordpress.com and sign up for a free account? And the answer is yes, it would be easier and faster. However, if you want to get into the business of building websites for clients, you don't want to go over to wordpress.com because it's very restricted in terms of what you can and can't do. WordPress.org, which is the free open source software, is what you want to use to build websites for clients. And that's why you need a host and that's why you need a host that will install WordPress for you. Okay, so setup has now completed successfully. We have a hosting account with DreamHost and we have WordPress installed and we are able to log in to WordPress. So I'm going to click on open WordPress editor and it's going to take me to my admin dashboard for WordPress. And here it is in all its glory. This is WordPress, a fresh install of WordPress on DreamHost and I'm logged in to the admin dashboard uh, and I'm going to make a whole bunch of other videos on what you can do now that you've got WordPress installed. So this is the quickest and the easiest way to get WordPress set up without having to download any zip files, without having to touch any code, without having to worry about databases or any of that stuff. Uh, the link is below in this video. Uh, in the description, it's DreamHost. That's the host that we recommend just to get started. If you don't, if you've never done this before, just open an account with DreamHost, follow the prompts as we have here in the video and get WordPress set up and then explore the rest of our channel and learn how you can start using WordPress now to build websites for clients. In fact, uh, there will be a video on our channel that shows you how to set up your very first website for a client in a very, very short space of time. Uh, so now that you've got WordPress installed, we're going to show you how you can start using this to grow a business as a web designer. So I hope you find this helpful. Please subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, leave us any comments and questions underneath, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Go Elevate.